Dun, 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 we're live! Boom! Hello everyone, how you doing? I hope you're all very well, thank you very much for joining me for another Monday Night Live. Mr. Todd is in the chat as always, swinging his mighty hammer of badness, uh, just in case anyone misbehaves or is, uh, is a bit rude. This is a safe place, as we'll see later on, by the sponsor of the show even though that's me. But uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for joining me. If you're new here, then essentially what we're going to do is, as always, the first 10 minutes are going to be just me saying hello to people in chat. So if you're watching this on, on uh, the replay, just fast forward 10 minutes or, uh, or or go make yourself a coffee or something, and then we'll get into the meat and taters of the whole thing. And then after that, I will have got a little bit of a little bit of vloggy action going on, and then, um, and then Mr. Todd will come in and join me. Am I a little bit too bright? Am I, well, that's never been said before, but do you know what I mean? Am I a little bit too bright? How's that? Is that any better? Hopefully that'll be all right. So if you are in chat, let me know your name. Let me know where you're from and uh, and uh, I'll, I'll, I might give you a shout out. So let's have a little look and see what's going on in chat, shall we? Uh, right then. Good evening from Brussels in Belgium, says the Power Mac. Uh, lethal Coils. Hey, Dean. Hey, Lethal Coils. How you doing? Nathan Sydenham, evening. And Miguel Rice, how's it going, Dean? From North Carolina, USA. Uh, vaping Bigfoot, hello from Ohio. Cuz Steve from Catterick. Hey, Steve, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Um, what else we got? R Rod Knob Clark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my window bigger. Hold on. I'm going to make my window bigger. Uh, <laughs> right, what have we got? I've lost myself now. Uh, hi, Steve and Helen in rugby. Steve and Helen in rugby. There's a little fist bump for you. It's blown out by the light. But a little fist bump for you, my favourite couple. That watch, the Monday Night Live. I love that one. That was James Whitlaw from West Sussex. Kevin K, Aloha Vaping Breaker. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Um, hi, guys. From Reading again. Since James Whiting. Hi, Dean London. London here, James McDonough. Um, and Neo Nula says, perfect, just me. <laughs> um, Tim Air is from Birmingham. Hey, Dean from Colorado. Colorado. I love my Bassian. Bassian. <laughs> Forgot the name of my own product. Says Geronimo. Nice to see you. Thank you very much indeed. And great to know you're enjoying it. Uh, John Hunter. Hello from Arkansas, Arkansas, USA. Uh, evening Governor. Bristol calling. Says Andy Fairchild. Grim Jackie. 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 Jackie from Ireland. Hey, how you doing? Um, Nathan Jones is Nathan from South Wales. South Wales, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's as good as I'm going to get. Hi, <laughs> from Northern Ireland, from Alistair Robinson. Um, Johan, good evening, you handsome bastard. Good evening to you as well, Johan. Lethal Coils from Chris across the pond. Across the pond, somewhere across the water. Good evening from Northeast Germany, says 2007 Everlast. Dave Ape is in Tunbridge, Wells. Cuz Steve, uh, we know you're hiding in the shadows to Mr. Todd. Absolutely, he is. Um, evening, Dino, on my basium, and DR Squonk from uh, DR Dead Rabbit Square SQ. There we go. From Shropshire. Trops Hester's sister Shire. That was Wolfie, by the way. The Vapory. Hey, how you doing? Evening, Dean. Shovelhead rider present. Nice to know you've got a proper Harley Davidson. People know my general feelings about Harleys, but the shovelheads, I'll let you get away with that one. Um, Marcius, Marcius, Marcius. Even at all, shovel. Oh, that, that is you. <laughs> Right. Kurt from South Wales. All right, Kurt from South Wales. Evening, Dean from Northern Ireland, says David Payne. Steve Orton, evening. How are you doing? Tom Kramer. Hello from Pittsburgh. Hello to you over there in Pittsburgh. 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 Pit, pit, over in America. Um, uh, Nathan from uh, Grantham. All right, Nathan. How are you doing? Uh, Mr. Todd and Dean from... Uh, Alabama or church is mobile in Alabama. Oh no, did I just lose my did I just lose my thing? I might have done. No, I haven't. Here we go. Um, oh, you have a new t-shirt on. Looks good. I'll tell you about that in a little while. Um, hi from Slough says home home comforts. Oh, in the t-shirt comment, which from Viv. Nice to see you in here, Viv. Thank you very much indeed. Got a few patrons in the house. Thank you very much for, for coming on. Um 
Uh, Alex Phillips, hi from Illinois. Own Comforts, Own Comforts from Slough. Darren Lang from Plymouth. Uh, Darren Holroyd from Milton Keynes. Lois is in the house as well. Nice to see you, Lois. Don't you go causing trouble now, will you? <laughs> um, Jay, all right, Jay's great reviews. How you doing, buddy? Paul Sykes from Sheffield, UK. Rod from Northampton. Uh, do you know when the recurrent squeak mod is on sale? I have no idea what you're talking about, but no will probably be the answer. Um, vaping Biker from oh, Hallmark. Is that Lech Laid? Is that Lech Laid? Lech Laid? Lech Laid? Somewhere like that? I don't know. Colette, hello. How are you doing? Um, what else we got? Andrew Small from Alabama. Who else have we got? Chris Phillips from Halifax. Halifax, the Canadian one. Apparently, um, hi from the Funkadelic House, says the Funkadelic fan. Uh, good evening and hello, good sir, from Kentucky, USA, says JTH Reviews. Good evening to you, JTH Reviews. Matt S from Dover, nice to see you. Mick Blizzard uh, in Solly Hull, Neon Nula, Denmark, rocking the bastion with the drop. What are you on tonight? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Hold your horses. Um, what else we got going on in here? Dino, not Dino. Dino, I haven't seen you for ages, Dino. I hope you're well, my friend. Um, what else have we got going on? Jason South Wales as well. Good evening, all from damp West Wales, says Anwen. Um, what else have we got? Sick boy moving from on a from a moving train in Pennsylvania. Fantastic. Wi-Fi on a train? I don't know. I got some new cardboard cups and a coffee while I'm up here, and these are biodegradable ones. Very excited. They're very happy. Um, less washing up, you see. I'm a bloke at the end of the day. I'm shit at washing up. Um, well, well, I'm good at washing up when I do it, but it's, you know, it, long story. Um, <laughs> Triple X Vapes is in it. Nice to see you. Uh, John Muller, Lynn Smith, Colette, Mr. Mufu to you is in the States. Hello, Mr. Mufu to you. Um, Stuart Leg, hey there, and hey there to you as well. JM, uh, no, that's not even for me. Uh, what else we got? Raj is in. Hello, Raj. How you doing? Um, right, what else we got going on? Ben Mackinson from Nottingham. Hello, Ben. How you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, Heather Melton from North Carolina. Danny Howard from Cleethorpes. Uh, what else have we got? Jesse Hindrich is at Tosra. Shedite. Hey, saying hello to the Shedite. Absolutely. Uh, oh, no. G Gilherm Santoro from Brazil. Gil, Gwil, Gwil. I think I've tried saying your name and possibly fucked it up before. So, Mr. Or Mrs. Santoro, um, can I just call you Santo? Can I can I do that? Is that cool? Can I do that? Maybe not. Don't be offended. Um, what else have we got going on here? Um, Paul Burford from Burton on Trent. Uh, Dominic is in. All right, Dominic. Hi from The Hague, says Mr. Anbu84. Evening, Dean from Bristol, says Graham Vincent. Robert Cromwell, hello. How are you doing? Um, Chris Cross from the, the, the 80s. Back to front, jean wearing um, boy band. No, um, but all the way from did I see the hay? No, where did I see? Where did I see crisscross? Where are we from, Chris? Romania. There we go. Marco from Portugal. Nice to see you. Um, oh, there was the, the Faro event, the biking Faro event was a couple of weekends ago in, in Portugal. Oh, look fantastic. Uh, hello, all from Ele Alexandria. Alexandria VA says Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Nice to see you. Got, got a few four percenters in here this evening. Nice to see you four percenters. Um, Danny Howard from Cleethorpes, UK. Thank you for the highlight that that is the UK. <laughs> the vaping fish is from Hull. Ian Bachelor Williams is from the dark side of the moon, apparently. George Cosinus. Cosinus. Cos. Hi from Greece. Yasu. Um, David Modrum, look out, Pilgrim Vapes is in the house. Uh, what else we got? Hello, Dean from Orlando, Florida, says Mark Paris. Um, Horsham Heating, uh, Bassiums is your favorite mod. Thank you very much indeed. It's my favorite as well. <laughs> Good <laughs> evening, Dean, from the comfort of my front room, says Reese Evans. Tony Jenkins is from Oklahoma, and uh, I think we're pretty much getting to that 10 minute cutoff. So, if I've not seen you, um, uh, all, uh, Dino says, All good, thanks, Wayne Baker. We need to catch up at Expo. Fucking right, we do. Absolutely, I will see you there, sir. I will see you there. Um, can you give Rich and Wayne a shout? As I know, Richo, what regularly watches the feed on a Tuesday night, and when yes. Absolutely, Richo and Wayne Boosh, you are shouted out. Um, there we go, off done. 
Uh, I think we, I think, right, that's it. So, okay, so they, we're, we're just going to get into it now. Apologies if I've not said hello, but I will try and say uh, hello and answer any questions if they should come up a little bit later on when we get to the, when we get, when Mr. Todd comes on. If you're new around here, I just try and get through the little vloggy section up front because I am pretty damn useless. So I will forget what I'm saying halfway through if I spend too much attention on chat or, or, or put to folk, you know. And um, and so <laughs> that's why Mr. Todd's there, to make sure nobody does anything dodgy when I'm not looking. Which, could be, could, to, to be honest, is, is quite a lot. If you've got any questions, though, about something when I'm talking about it, then please feel free to fire away at Vaping Biker and then put your, put your question in uppercase in capital letters if you can. I've got more of a chance of seeing it. If it's more of a general thing, then I will try and answer that once Mr. T comes on in the sort of the Q&A bit or the, the, the sort of general, general chat section of the monday night live show so i hope you're all well i hope you've all had a great vlog uh great <laughs> oh no too much coffee i hope you've all had a great week but uh sorry for for, for not doing a monday night live last week it was just too hot so yesterday and today appears to have been the main days where we've actually had sort of decent weather in 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 my part of england it's not been crazy hot i mean at the moment we're at a we're at a cool 26.8 degrees celsius in this little office at the moment obviously that is with lights on as well so um it this is the coolest this studio has been um for a, for a couple of weeks now so luckily it means that i can now get back to actually doing some work which is very very exciting um i i have finished recording and was midway through editing the uh, the review of the re Curve, which I'm hoping to have finished after tonight. Hopefully it's not going to go on for forever tonight because once I'm done, I want to get back into editing. Ideally, I'd like to release that this evening, um, probably sort of midnight, one o'clock time, but uh, I can't promise. We're going to have to see how we get on. Um, I'm just kind of editing an up close section on that at the moment, and then we should get it get it going. I'm out of focus, am I? I think that's because I'm using this webcam. If you saw my, uh, if you saw my kind of yeah webcam rubbish this is the best i can do this is the best i can do now then for those of you that don't know basically there when i do the live stream setup like i did with the um with the battery wrapping tutorial yesterday was that yesterday um but i can use a different setup to what we're doing now when we do these streams at the moment we go through um through youtube through google and it's a uh, google hangouts and it's a bit shit to be honest, it's not the best. We'd like a different uh, way of doing things, but using a Mac with OBS and Zoom and things like that is a bit of a nightmare. It's a bit of a nightmare to get the sound ported through. So I am working on it so we get a better quality feed for you guys, but uh, but uh, that's just a, an ongoing work in progress, I'm afraid. Um, now then, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, yesterday did the battery rewrap. I was rewrapping some batteries anyway, so I thought I would uh, I would record doing one because I realised I didn't have anything like that on the on the uh, on the channel. So I figured I'd quickly throw that together. It's had a reasonable amount of views. I never expected it to go bonkers, but if you like it, if you watch it, it's fairly straightforward. Um, then uh, then give it a share. If you don't mind, give it a share because there's a lot of people that don't know about battery rewrapping and how easy it is. So just, you know, throw that around social media if you would be so kind, um, just because hopefully it'll help someone here and there. I mean, there's a there's a billion of them all over YouTube, I'm sure. But uh, but, you know, it's mine and, <laughs> and I'd appreciate it. <laughs> So um, let's go with what I'm vaping on at the moment, shall we? Um, no, fuck it. I'm going to have to go talk to you about oh, about what's come in, and then we can kind of meld that into what I've been vaping on as well, so we can have a little bit of a mix and match of, uh, yeah, fuck it, of all sorts of things. So first and foremost, um, one of the cool things that I've had come in, and this is where I'm going to be doing some funky focus situations, um, and I don't know if this is going to be too bright. Uh, what we've got here is, um, and it is far too bright. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Right, so what we've got going on here is these are from Attidoc. Now I've talked about Attidoc in the past. Now this is a this is a stand from uh, oh I can't remember what it's what it's made of. 
can't remember what it's made of um but it's a stand for a mech it's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of funky wood and you pop your mech in there and it stops you knocking it over every five minutes and quite grand so i'm happy with that absolutely we've also got a little atomizer stand right here now i really like these these are kind of the things like the the off center five tens and what have you i did have a mention i don't know if that's something that he does on purpose because it the whole aspect of these are that they are handmade and they're kind of they're not machine cnc cut and all that sort of stuff and i kind of really dig it i really like this this one is absolutely bloody ideal by the way because if you have hang on where have i got an atomizer like this thing here okay so if I'm screwing my atomizer on there, I don't. My build station is usually quite big, so on this I can hold this in one hand and I can just move things around. It's a nice height, so I can build on it. But at the same time, it's easy to kind of twist off the the uh, the five ten. You know, just it, this. It's ridiculously simple. It's this is one of those little things in life that's crazy easy to use, um, and and it's just a. If you don't have one. You don't realize that you need one. But then when you have one, you go, oh, fuck me. This is really useful. And, uh, and yeah, so this absolutely, absolutely falls in that neck of the woods. And we've got two other ones as well, which are kind of, they look like kind of offcuts. They're really raw and, and basic. And I really, I really like that. But without a doubt, because of the form factor, this round one does it for me. That's fantastic. Now, um, I don't think, I mean, he, he can absolutely, oh, there we go. Todd's put a link in chat there for attydoc.com. Uh, there's also a Facebook group as well, so you can go and check that out. But uh, he doesn't charge very much for them, and they're they're great. And he's a really nice bloke. So go and uh, go and check him out. Now then, should I put this light back on again? What do we? What do we? No, no. There we go. Should we do that? Should we do some of that? That's oh, too bright now. Twat. Um, oh goodness. Right. Sod it. That'll have to do. Now then. <laughs> What else have we got to come in now then? So we've got, I'm rocking this colour because I thought, you know, it's not often. So I'm, I'm rocking it because I'm, you know, comfortable in my sexuality. This is the, uh, this is the Wake Mod Co. Littlefoot Mech, uh, Littlefoot Mech Kit. And I've got too much juice in that out of my, so that's for sure. And uh, that's uh, it's a it's a funky little it's a funky little um, sort of color coded little kit. Now the the people that own Wake Mod Co did used to own Dot Mod until they were kind of taken out quite unfairly um, by the uh, by the board. I think it was. Um, that's another story. And so what they've done is they've got a whole mess of other little bits and bobs. Now one of the things they've got going on here is, and I've shown you guys these before. This is the Little Foot um, sixty watt mod um and that is the little sub tank that they do on top of that they also do a rebuildable version as well but when it comes to the mech this is an aluminium aluminium aluminum aluminium uh, mechanical device and it's super light it is super light it's got a super light um button going on in there it comes with a couple of different springs is it the best mech in the world? No, no, it's 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 not, quite frankly. But it's a nice little mech, and I am testing it, so we're 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 giving it a, a little go. If you if you're one of these sort of matchy matchy kind of people, then uh, then something like that might tickle your taste buds, might give a little bit of a tickle on the old undercarriage. But uh, but no, there's a whole mess of different colours on those, and uh, the 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 RDA you can buy separately if you want to, and is is it's just a basic old school style kind of super easy to build rda does a grand job that's that what else has come in it's really tough to remember what's come in seeing as i didn't do the uh the the thingy last time um glad they sent dean the correct color i did actually have, i think i had to have a black one as well but i chose that color because you know i'm like that plus the black one probably will go to uh to patrons and what have you once i've shown it in the review so that's that now then what else has come in I told you guys all about the Warrior RDA. We talked about that last time. Um, what else we've got going on here is the BTFC. Um, this is an RDA from Org Vape and Vaping Heathen, I believe. And I've got to admit, when I unboxed it, I was very kind of nonplussed about the whole thing. However, this has been, this has not left my bassium since I unboxed it. And uh, I have been vaping this daily 
since doing that unbox. I can't remember what day it came in. I'm pretty sure it was last week. Um, but I have used this a lot, a lot. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But um, from a squonking atomizer point of view, this is actually working out really, really nicely. Nice and cloudy. Flavor is okay on it. Flavor is okay on it. I'll go into a lot more detail, obviously, when I do the review, but it does need a lot more testing and a lot more builds before I can go down that route. Um, but uh, it's not the quietest. It's not the quietest you had, but it's it's a pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth on the old airflow. Basically, you've got undercoil airflow that goes in at the bottom there, but you've got a massively deep juice well, a crazy, crazy deep juice well. So you can really squonk the Jesus out of it. So, uh, so you can really saturate those coils um, before you've got to worry about it flooding and all that sort of malarkey. You, when you've got the uh, top airflow closed, it's actually... It's actually a pretty damn restricted vape, but uh, I've been rocking this. They've got two air holes each side on the uh, top airflow, and I've got one sort of one of the air holes half open, and that's kind of where I've been enjoying it more or less. Does it come in rainbow, says Alex? Yes, you know very well it does because I unboxed them for you patrons now then <laughs> what else have we got going on so other things we've got going on this is the review that i'm editing at this very moment in time nearly nearly didn't do the live stream tonight because i was i was editing the recurve uh, mod really enjoy it really enjoy it i've had this now for a couple of weeks there it's big and it's heavy but if you've been watching my channel for any period of time you'll know that i don't really get the tiny dinky little mods it's like this little foot it's kind of a cute and dinky little mod but this could never be an all-day driver for me partially because of the, the the battery side of things but also i'm not really a, a little mod kind of person so when it comes to something like this this is ridiculously comfortable in the hand um and it, it just does a grand job. It does what it says on the tin. And I've really, really been enjoying using it. So um, the review on this hopefully will be up before I go to bed tonight, uh, depending on how long it takes YouTube to process it. Otherwise, it'll be up in the morning. Oh, did I say heathen? For the uh, for the thing, yes, it is vaping Fagan, not uh, not vaping heathen. That's my mistake. I do apologise for the BTFC. It is a stupid name. It's a silly name. BTFC is bottom top flavor cloud, <laughs> which is a silly, silly name. But uh, but no, it's uh, it, it's a thing. And sorry, yes, addendum edit. Just go back and cut this in later. Um, <laughs> it's been Fagan, not heathen. Boosh. There we go. Now then, what else is there? Um, J Revo, there, it depends what I'm testing at any given time. Obviously, the Bassium is my favorite mod ever. Now then, what else have we got going on? Um Oh yeah, on top of the uh, on top of the uh, of the 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 recurve squonker from Mr. Mike Vapes is the layer cake. Now this one had a fair bit of uh, controversy when it first came out. I talked about it, and I know Mr. Todd did as well. This was something that came out, and you could it had a warning on the inside of the box that you could short out short out of battery um, because it didn't have protection um around where the positive 510 because it's kind of a clamp single single screw clamp system um you could short the whole thing out which was a pig in nightmare now when they when they originally made it they said they couldn't make it where it had protection uh because it would uh, it would cause something to be too brittle inside there and all this sort of stuff but i think a whole bunch of people whinged about it enough and highlighted the safety issue and uh and so they funnily enough they, they managed to do it so that's that's there i've got to say i've got this in single coil mode at the moment i've got some uh, homemade peachy juice going on in there and it's a uh, It's actually a really nice vape. It's actually a really nice vape. Nice and smooth on the airflow, which is going very nicely. Um, flavor is pretty on point with it. It does have a tiny, these drip tips, there seems to be a thing. I don't know if anybody saw it, but on Instagram, I think Kennedy, I think they, they put a post up recently of a, either a new RDA or, or, or a new kit or something with the smallest drip tip known to man on it. And it, I, I can't wrap my head around people that, that enjoy doing those because your lips just, I just don't get it. 
I don't get they do nothing. If they're only kind of one or two mil high, it'll do nothing. So I don't I don't anyway. Might just be me being old, or it's because I've got voluptuous kissable lips. I don't know. Could go either way. But it's doing a grand job. And like I say, that is just with a single coil coming through at about 0.25, point, point, between 0.25 and 0.3. And it's uh, it's it's pumping away rather nicely. So I am actually enjoying that one. That one will now get a review. Obviously, I didn't test the previous one because I was concerned about the safety aspect of it. So I wasn't going to review it. But now they've changed it and updated it. I will uh, I will give it a damn good going over um, and, uh, and give it a, a review in due course. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? There is something else. There is something else. I made myself some of some of this. This caused quite the stir on uh, on, on Instagram because people were like, "Where can I buy some uh, some of this?" This is my cherry um, cherry syrup pancake kind of flavor, um, but it's a it's a homebrew sort of thing. Uh, but on top of there is the Mod Maker refiller. Now this is the 120 ml Chubby Gorilla bottle. I got these off the Zon. I bought a bunch of uh, 60 mil and 120s this is the refill bottle by uh, by mr uh, rick from mod maker take the cap off there like that and then boosh you can refill your squonkers till your heart's content so bosh that's some of those apples this has been nicely steeping away but uh, i think i'll be able to get into that one very very shortly um i do also somewhere there we go he also does do a much smaller one for a 60 mil bottle as well. These are heavy, though. These are heavy. So if you put this on a 60 mil bowl and you've only got a little bit left in it, you can be aware of the fact that you are going to drop it and knock it over a lot because these are just I think these are solid stainless steel. I don't know what sort of stainless steel they are, but uh, they do a grand job. So boosh. And it made me go out and buy 60 and 120 mil chubby gorilla bowls off Amazon. So, you know, there we go. That's a thing. Um How's the focus? Did I put myself back in for a uh, boosh? Um, kind of in focus ish thereabouts. Uh, now then, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Um, oh, I did have I've got uh, I have got the Inakin IQ uh, EQ, not IQ EQ as well. Now, I did have a uh, I did have the, one of these before I had a few of these before and I had some issues with pods. I had a couple of leaking pods. Um, so they sent me some more. And uh, and so far, we seem to be doing rather well. And Mr. Todd, if you're watching, don't forget to open it. All you've got to do is give it a little push. Boof. There we go. Now then. <laughs> This does do a grand job. This do, I, I am really enjoying this. The only thing that I'm not enjoying quite so much, and I, I think this is a pod thing. I don't think this is down just to this one. I think it's a, it's a sort of a generic pod issue that if you do it to chain vape it, then the, you know the whole pod gets rather warm on your lips. But I know a lot of people use high and nick in these sort of things, and so they're not vaping as often. Um, but for me, I don't like high nick stuff. I don't, I don't I don't often vape because I have a craving for nicotine. I vape because I enjoy vaping. Um, but I enjoy having three milligram just as a little you know, as a little booster. So uh, I have three milligram in this. Now, I've not had any problems when it comes to using higher VG stuff. And uh, and that's been working out rather nicely. A little bit on the looser side of mouth to lung in, but you can mouth to lung it. Absolutely. Um, now, is, uh, is, I think that's that's all I need to worry about at that point. However, what I'm doing this evening is uh, tonight's show is sponsored by me. And when I say by me, this tonight is being sponsored by my, my safe zone shirt, which does look like this. So this is the uh, logo in the T-shirt that I'm wearing right now because um, <laughs> it tickled me. You watched a review and didn't agree. Put the keyboard down and find your nearest safe zone before you hurt yourself. The internet thanks you for your self-restraint in this matter. But uh, no, that's that's a little thing that's just tickled me. I, I made it as a shirt because it uh, it amused me greatly. And uh, you can find them over at vapingbiker.co.uk and then find the little merch 
stuff there's a little merch shop on there you can go and find that and uh, and wear it and it looks cut no that side boosh there you go i have got one that has got a big print like all over the front of the t-shirt but there but it didn't come out as nicely as i'd like so i've taken that one off the shelves on that one so just got this one um now i know a lot of people ask me about the sizes but this is a double xl and um uh, it's swamping me so i think i think my merch supplier has kind of gone up a little bit when it comes to the size of t-shirts so double xl is a, actually a pretty reasonable size i mean i'm a, i'm not a small fella at all to be honest with you when it comes to uh the guts but uh but no there we go so go and check that one out bargain <laughs> just if you want to fight against the negativity on the internet go and check it out because it's it's necessary it's just absolutely necessary these days because um yeah <laughs> so many people just go oh you're a wanker and you go well screw you But uh, but there you go. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show Mr. Mark wearing his silly glasses. <laughs> Good evening to you, Mr. Mark. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I'm no, longer, <laughs> I'm no longer muted. I was busy. I was busy. <laughs> you see, I had to get you because every week you say that my poker face is shit and you know when it's happening. But I, I was busy concentrating on what you were saying. I, I wasn't watching. I was, um, it's, it's because you, it's your fault anyway. <laughs> this new RDA by Vaping Heathen. <laughs> um, the um, what do you call it? Who's it called? The BTFC. Yeah, um, um, I've decided. I I know I I threw it into the the drawer of shame. Yeah. Uh, because it's they never asked me to review it or anything like that, so I thought that ah, can't be arsed, and it went in the drawer. Yeah. Uh, but um, so I've just put in two big beefy coils. Yeah. And uh, I'm 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 giving it a go. Excellent. that will be interesting to know what you think of it, because like I said, to be honest with you, when I first unboxed it, I was kind of, oh, it was all right. It was all right. And my patrons will 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 attest to the uh, to the things I, I unbox everything for my ten dollar and above patrons. Um, and uh, and it, it was, I, I thought that's all right. But like I said to you earlier on today, I, I've used this every single day since it's just sat on top of this bassian and uh, I've had a couple of builds in it now and I'm rocking it and it's doing a grand job. Yeah, but you, you're one of these. You, you Hang like on, you, you, you like everything. No way! Shut your face. Um, do we do we say heathen again and not Fagan? <laughs> no, but we're just doing that for badness. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm easily I'm easily confused. <laughs> um, right, sorry. I'll um, right. I'll, I'll excuse me for I, I, I apologize for not concentrating on. Oh, what have you got? Bits in what? my coffee. Look, that's not what good. Is that. Random shit in my coffee. I think my coffee making is cleaning. Got it. Right. Um, <laughs> you figured out how to build it and how to wick it. Yeah, I'm using these um, with Tofu earplug cleaner things, you know, with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm covered in stuff. I've got um, some here. I think I showed. I think I showed everybody last time, but I'll show some again. Just because now Watofo are not the first people to come out with these, um, but uh, the, the the original idea I think with these was to help people that are kind of got dexterity issues and all this sort of stuff. That's very white; you can't really see that. But essentially, what it is is a uh, and someone did did point out on the last on the last vlog that uh, that these uh, oh, I, I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it is. I said the Flugendhausen. What what do they say in in uh, cocktail? <laughs> the blue lace things. Ah, oh, someone corrected me on the last one, but uh, but no, that's what these are, and these are like for three mil coils. But that's a lot of cotton that you tend to have to need to thin out quite a lot to get in there. But 
from a dexterity point of view, you push it in and it's easy to get the coil in, but you still have to grip it fairly harsh to, to, to pull it through. So I don't really, not sure I get it, but you know, it's a thing. It's, um, it's hip and cool and trendy. That's what it is. Nice. Nice. Um, good stock is for the Bassium, says Chuckle. There's, there's a, it depends which country you're in, but there is a, a bunch of them. Um, I think Evolution Vaping has still got some in stock. Oh, there's, but there's a bunch of shops. There's a bunch of shops I've got, mate, which is great. Being cute. Uh, a Fugal Binder. There we go. Or Church. Fugal, bi fugal Binder. That, that was, that was the, the thing on the end of a shoelace. <laughs> 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 Anyway, tell us about your week. What have you been up to? Have you done many reviews? I don't watch you anymore. Ah, uh, likewise, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't think I've watched one of my reviews since 2012. Um, what have I been up to? Uh, not, I tell you, I've not been up to much, really. I'm, I'm still kind of, um, I don't know, still kind of, I think I had the blues last week after Vape Fest. It's like, you know what it's like you say, you kind of get, you know, when you go to a, an expo or a festival or something like that, you get, God, it's everything so exciting. Yeah. And you meet everybody in Blether and 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 then you come home and, and it's just not as exciting anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and, and plus in Scotland, the summer's over. So uh, the summer's officially over now. So it's been, hey, it's kind of been, huh. But anyway, uh, um, did you have a good time at uh, Fest though? While you while you started that conversation, I did. I had a tremendous time. I I met the um, usual. I met lots of lovely people. I drank and ate things I shouldn't have, and then um, ah, it was good crack, as we like to say here. Good crack. Um, good. Excellent. Did you miss me? Uh, terribly. <laughs> terribly. I said I said that to you. I mean, a lot of people were asking for you. It was all strange people, lots of strange people. But anyway, they were asking for you. Did they have beards and baseball caps on? They have beards and beards. They kept walking about fist bumping you and shit like that. You know, it's, it's <laughs> not normal. You know, you love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, you were missed. You were definitely missed. Um, but uh, it was, it was, uh, you know, everybody that was there had a great time, but it, it was definitely smaller, um, which was a shame. It didn't, it didn't detract from the, the social side, but I suppose from somebody that just turned up to their first one expecting a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think they would have been disappointed, but uh Hopefully it'll. They'll. I, I think that I think they're aware of that themselves. That they need to change direction a bit because the the market's changed a lot. And you know the. I think the crowd that goes that they need to appeal to more people than just the. People like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, appear appeal more to you know include, people like you. <laughs> <laughs> people with taste <laughs> well, that's just, uh, that they, they, they don't have to go out and buy very expensive stuff all the time <clears throat> just just <laughs> what was the last thing you bought come on um, I, I i bought but i bought three atomizers one of them i killed pretty much instantly one of them i don't use anymore and the third one was just a bit bit shit <laughs> um i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to highlight something because um for those people that wanted to, to i've just put a link in chat there for the uh, to get the t-shirt boosh what the fuck hopefully it works because it's it shortens down a little bit but fingers crossed anyway um yes so you were talking also about um uh videos and vaping and all that sort of good stuff what have you been up to Right, um, there's the, the, the quick version. The quick version is I have finished recording my video for that, the recurve. And on top of that, I have, I think you've got one as well. It's the, is it the Alpha by Vulcan Bros? Nope, I have not got one of those. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's what I'm vaping on. Review for that will be up tomorrow. Uh, but I think I've, it, it's incredibly heavy. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's almost as heavy as a bassium. Uh, no, <laughs> it's it's far heavier than the bassium. Um. 
but it's it's not shit for you know for thirty eight quid. Um, I, th I I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. It's not perfect, but it's I do like it, and I think it's good value for money. Yeah. Um, so putting away on that. Um, also, this is the strange RDA. This is called. Uh, it looks like a bottle top. Um, that's by <laughs> Infinity Mods, Sunbox, and RSS, all Italian companies. And it was only 500 made. Uh, oh, and that's the, I don't know if you remember, the Regadillo. Yes. Uh, but I, I sent it back because the Evolve board was playing up a little bit. And when I sent it away, it was 3D printed. And when I got it back at Vape Fest, it had become Delrin and Stabwood. Very so, nice too. So right for some. Yep. So 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 that's good. So send stuff away to get repaired more often would be yeah. my advice. <laughs> always good. Uh, I did pick up um, a thingy, my bobber, a tippy, tippy mods, a uh, little squonker. That one's pretty. Mister Mister Rick Modmaker made me one that looks sort of very similar shape sort of thing to to that one. Once upon a time. Yep. And on top of that is the the new version or the new batch of the Convergent, which is uh, my probably my favourite flavour atty so far this year. Yeah, really like it. It's very good. Cool. Um, I got a present from somebody overseas, Bill. Ah, Bill. I don't know if you watch this, mate, but I love you. Um, I got a CNC. Uh, Custom Classic Squonker, um, which I, I love to bits. I really do. And that's the, the Myth by EVL on oh. top, which has just been released. Has um, it now? Sorry? Has it now? I, don't, yeah. I, I, haven't, I, I was unaware. Yep. Um, it's uh, So th there's that. It's not your thing, buddy. <laughs> hey, I told I told you about the bloody D Pro Mini. Shake your hole. No, oh no, no, no. This is uh, my maximum coil size, but two point five millimeter in a diameter. Um, uh, really, no. This anyway. There we go. And um, the last thing that I what else have I been given to play with? Um, I don't know if you remember. I reviewed a mod last year. Uh, it was like um. A coffin for a gerbil. <laughs> it, it was shaped like a, a little coffin for a gerbil uh, by Stuttgart, a company okay. in Stuttgart in Germany, uh, and they made that mod as well. Oh shit! Yes, yes, I do remember. It's a white one with a orange stripe. I think that's the one. Uh, well, this is one of their other mods, but they've just sent on their new RTA, which is is very German because it, it uses stainless steel cable and. You have to give it some power to get it going, and and it's, it's very posh. Um, and yeah, and that's it. That's all I've got. Fair enough. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice little haul, though. Nice little haul. I've just got her answer. Um, someone's asking, and Beto is asking about um, uh, Vassium stockists in Canada. I don't think. I don't think I've got one, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but uh, I don't I don't kind of sort out all the stockings and stuff. If you want your local vape shop to have one, then uh, go tell them and tell them to get involved with any of the wholesalers that are on the website on the link that I posted a little while ago or um, or contact if they're in another country, then uh, contact uh, Dofpo directly. So, boosh, that will sort that one out. <clears throat> Thank you very much for that, Mr. T. Um Right, so I think if anyone's got any burning questions, now we can actually start uh, paying attention to the chat a wee bit more and see what's going on a little bit there. Todd and Dean, 10th anniversary of Vapest next year. Are you going? It could be the last one. I won't be. I imagine you probably will be. Uh, yes, I probably will be. Uh, I was actually looking at um, the Premier Inn for, excuse my language, cheeky fakers. They really are. <laughs> <laughs> um pricing wise you could i mean it cost for two nights with breakfast cost 260 quid but yeah, yeah. i know uh one of the other guy mark um he managed to get it for earlier for 150 or 160 pounds so i thought i'll book it now 
I'll get it dirt cheap. Still 260 quid. Oosh. There so, is no need for that. So I'm taking a tent. Sod it. <laughs> Are you going to, have you decided whether you're going to come down for Expo or not? Sorry. You're not coming? Um, I've not don't... decided. I've not, I've not decided, mate. I really haven't. I might, do you know, I might end up just jumping in the car and driving down. So that um, I've just, just with, did I tell you I was going to America? <laughs> you can get it <laughs> uh, with, with Paris and, um, and America coming up, it's, um, expense wise, it's, it's going to be a pricey affair. So, yeah. um, I don't know. I'd yeah, probably David Mottram's going. So if David Mottram's going, I mean that's that's just that's just reason not to go enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> love you, David. He's a lovely boy. Lovely boy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going to go there. I mean, I've said many times, but Expo is my favourite show of the year, so I'll definitely 100%, 100 p, as the kids say, um, be there. And that's uh, that, that's I'm looking forward to that one. Um, you actually said, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, Jez is just saying Expo is okay, but the loud music. Did you? Did oh not yeah, no. Last the last one was way better. I mean, if you were kind of near the stage, then obviously that was going to be fairly thumping. But where we were over in the Dove Post stand and that whole, uh, there were a lot more quieter areas, and I don't think the overall volume was as loud as it was in previous years. So the the, the one in May was really really good. You could actually talk to people, which was which was lovely without screaming and yelling. I actually had a voice when I got home, which was which was nice. <laughs> But no, I'll definitely, uh, definitely be there on that one. And uh, yeah, hope to see as many people as possible. It's not as long now, I think. Is it October? August, yeah. October, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Not far away. But no, looking forward to that one. That's the, uh, I don't get these kind of super flash invites around the world, you see. So I have to just do what I can do. That's, uh, you, you're going down, are you going down Thursday night again? The, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, traveling down on the Thursday, and that means that I can do filming of setup and all that sort of stuff on the Friday, um, and uh, and actually have a chat with some of the uh, some of the the people that I kind of email back and forth. You know what it's like when you go to these things. You kind of there's there's people that have got a stand there that you you'll know by email, but you don't actually know face to face. And it's nice to actually sort of touch base with them, and uh, and have a chat in person before really? it all goes bonkers on the shut up. I'm I out, just I'm a... I just end up talking to the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a social beast. What can I say? <laughs> um, but no. So I mean, I think if uh, I definitely think that I've got I've got tash hair going up my nose. I got my old nasal trimmers out. And I can add a good old wang around there, but. I got I got tashes. I meant to go and get my hair cut the other day, but couldn't because I had a poorly dog. I meant to do all my bloody editing earlier on this afternoon, but couldn't because we had a thunderstorm, and so I had to look after the pooch. So now we've got the nicer weather, which is more comfortable to work in. I, I, I've still had two days where I've wanted to work and not been able to, but you know what can you do? Yeah. Um, so don't forget if you've got any questions, then do start them with at Vaping Biker or at Todd's Reviews, and then we can uh, and then we can get stuff together and uh, and answer a few questions for you. Yeah. Um, <gasps> Change your plan. I'm Why? coming. Why? Mick Blizzard has just said that uh, he's got a spare bed and he just stays up down the road from the NEC or up the road. <laughs> Boof. There we go. Done. <laughs> Hey, you'll you'll want to drive down because you've got your nice nice flash beamer. That'll sort of sit nicely in Birmingham. Everyone's got a beamer or a Merc in Birmingham. Yeah, I, I could do a few taxi fares on the way down. Damn right, you could. There you go. Yeah. That'll pay for the weekend. A few uh, Chinese and Indian deliveries whilst I'm there, and uh, get some money on the side. Uh... <laughs> Jobs are flipping good. <laughs> Uh, um what else we got going on here uh oh shindo shindo's in shindo go and check out shindo's flavors over at chef's flavors .co.uk or .com he's got some really nice mixes i've still got to try the mint chocolate shindo flavor i've got to give that a go because he knows what he's doing he's, he does a great mango sticky rice which is which is very very nice um 
where do i get expo tickets from from the expo website i don't know if they've released it i think they might have released the tickets but uh yeah if you type in vapor expo uh uk you'll find it in google i imagine if not then there's their their facebook page as well so boof there we go um are you going to the one in manchester nope 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 there's there's that one in manchester and there's the one in london as well isn't there um but i know nothing of either of them i think the london one just didn't show anyone that was exhibiting so i wasn't going to waste time and effort on that one um and manchester i similarly don't really know much about so no and uh, i haven't really got the money to go out and throw at these things you know i'm a yeah. struggling vape reviewer i don't you know i'm uh too good for my own my own common sense sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i should do q jumps that's what i should do um <clears throat> not gonna now then yes they're available already have my tickets for expo nec says matthew weston fantastic um someone i saw someone saying earlier on that they had uh was it did he had a uh, an auto firing luxotic now i've not really i've got my luxotic here and i actually i built it the other day again just so i could have a little play with it because it's i thought why the hell not it was next to me um and uh, um yeah it was I, i've kind of enjoyed using it but i haven't i haven't heard of any auto firing ones have you yeah quite a few actually i have you yeah but it's, just, it's just liquid getting into the board ah right okay uh, gotcha. you get in about it and just dry it off as best as you can get the if it doesn't work after that then or first port of call go back to where you got it from and say that it's auto firing and you got another one absolutely absolutely that's um there you go yeah it says that uh, yeah i've seen a few in the forums i bet uh, when i say i've seen a few in the forums i think in fairness you have to take into account the number that were sold as well so you're going to see more faults for that than you would for you know absolutely something that only sold a couple of hundred absolutely and it, it, it don't, i mean i think well i don't know what the the different companies have different kind of pass rates because you're never going to get 100 percent of products going out that are absolutely perfect and spot on all the time which is yeah. a shame but you know as long as that company uh, rectifies the situation quickly then then it's not too much of a ball ache but um no i mean we whiz mega fucking huge aren't they so they're going to do a whole whole bunch of things um <clears throat> Alex McKenzie has got 10% unintentional bonus. <laughs> what the fuck's that about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clay Chaser blog, any future hardware plans brought the Bassium instead of the Rage? I'm really impressed with your product. Thank you very much, Clay Chaser blog. Um, I haven't got any other plans at the moment. Uh, there's always kind of a couple of things on the burners that I've had a little play with when it comes to designing stuff, but nothing that I, uh, I've, I've kind of figured significantly different enough to uh, to do anything about or with uh, for the time being. So, no, no plans going on there quite yet. Is that uh, your dad? Huh? The Cloud Chaser blog, is that your dad? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, can't, you just can't come in and do that. Of course he can. It's nice. No, people will nice. know. It's a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys recommend a good mech mod under a hundred dollars to start off? Uh, thank you for your content. Um, something like the Dreamer, I think, is is the most recent one that comes to mind. Just for being really affordable, has a bunch of different battery options. Um, nice to hold. You know, it's not a, it's not the the zero point fuck all cloud chasing device, but it, it's got pretty decent um, decent uh, currents all going on there. Go for the, wouldn't go for the stainless one. I would go for the copper or brass personally, um, but you do have to keep on the upkeep. I think that Stan has released a bunch of colours, but I don't know if they're if they're copper based or aluminium based. Um, but uh, but no, I mean I I think the Dreamer is still a great little little mech mod to be honest with you. It's probably the best all rounder. Um, that's it. sorry. I'm just um, moved to uh, cut. Steve's talking about uh, evolve boards giving weak battery messages. Turned out to be dirty contacts. Have you had any issues with yours? Um, I've had a dirty car. I think it was with an Asmodus, um, rather than a, a DNA. 
I can't really remember, but I, I try and keep on top of having a lot of a lot of mods do have like um, copper or or, or, or uh, like a, a gold plated contact or something like that. So or the stainless ones do get dirty as well, massively. So I try and keep on top of those where possible. But um, but no, I can't remember off the top of my head having a, a DNA with that issue. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I've had an Asmodus one that didn't work overly well until I cleaned the contacts. I've not had any problem with any of my evolved boards for uh, ever since the DNA 40. Mm. And even then, I, I did have the weak battery with the DNA 40 occasionally, but not since then. But it just points out, you just keep your contacts clean. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Clean. I mean, there's. I, I think a lot of people tend to forget that when you have a vape product, there is generally some upkeep. If it's wood, you need to feed the wood. If it's mechanical, you need to look after the contacts, especially. But um, and the threads and all that sort of malarkey going on. And if it's a regulated mod, even those still need to to make sure that the the contacts don't get gummed up with shit and what have you. Um, so always worth doing. And just you can use isopropanol alcohol. Is it? Yeah, um, that kind of thing, or or the, I tend to use like the underside of a mouse mat, the rubber bit that cleans contacts really, really nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a there's a whole mess of different ways you can do it. Yeah. Um, Shindo says own boy OC is doing a squonk RDA with coil heads, so new vapors can try out RDA life. Is that the goat? Is that the goat that I that I've seen the pictures? Um, the seen the pictures for? I haven't got it. He hasn't sent me one. I feel really bad that I upset him at one point in time because. <laughs> I was doing the release at the at the local vape shop for um for 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 Ohm's Distro. There was a uh, there, there was kind of like a voice chat going on, and he he sent a message to the to the the boss man saying, um you know what's going on with with squonking in the UK because obviously now like the bassium is getting released with when you when you when you buy the bassiums now, um they will be or the bassiums coming into the UK don't come with a squonk bottle. However, and in a completely unrelated note, you do get a little box with two biker bottles which you can store unicorn tears in or, or belly button fluff or whatever you like. Um, and uh, yeah, jobs are good. But he asked about that, and uh, and so I got the phone and and just sent a message back <laughs> saying everything's fine, mate. Although the UK government has decided that the only squonkers allowed are bassiums. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard from him since, and I'm a little bit worried. I annoyed him. <laughs> He's a big fella. You don't want to upset his day. <laughs> But uh, no, he's a he's a top leg. So I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out with that goat. If that's the uh, if that's the if that's the cookie, um, Addy Tooney's in. Look, Addy's in the house. Here's trouble. Yeah, yeah. Let anyone in. What? <laughs> I had the drop solo on my bassium. It was great. Now, um, one of the things that I have discussed, and I'm going to go into when I do the drop solo review, and this is a good talking point because um, it's something that we've discussed kind of in private and a lot of people forget about. Um, with the amount of RDAs now that are coming with separate acrylic caps, so like not Ultim, but the acrylic caps and all that sort of stuff, they are susceptible to the tank cracker juices that we used to have, the high citrus juices and all that sort of stuff. And new vapors coming into the game now may not be fully aware of it. Now, I'd completely forgotten as well, to be honest with you, because when it comes to dripping, you, it's just not something that automatically goes into your brain. But um, I kind of upset one of my uh, the acrylic cap on one of my drop solos by using a, a very citrus based e-liquid. Um, now, I mean, you know it from back in the day with tanks. What, what's your thoughts on all that sort of stuff? Um it was kind of common. It was kind of common knowledge, and or not, if not common knowledge, it was something that was posted on forums every couple of weeks. You know, there would be an update to the tank crack and just list. And if there was, if you did a review, you would say if it was susceptible to tank crackers. And so it was a thing. It was it was something that was always made clear. Mm. Um, but it, with, I'll be honest, it's something I, I never even considered it with drippers because I never thought about it actually sitting in juice. But I suppose when you think about the wattages, you know, you got just going everywhere inside a cap. So it's going to have the same kind of effect. And also with a lot of these RDAs now that you can really kind of, you can really throw your juice into. So it goes right up before it, and it doesn't come out of the air holes because of surface tension on the liquid. 
and then it goes back down. But that's going to coat the inside. And if you've got an airflow control ring or something like that, then uh, it can go a little bit wobbly. But um, if I, I can show you what sort of a heavy citrus juice, and I'm, I don't know if this is going to be too bright. I think it might be, but I'll turn the light off if it is. Um, yes, it is. Hold on. Oof. And so that is, that's, it, it kind of, it, that's the result of using just a high citrus juice and that sort of stuff can't be cleaned off that kind of i tried cleaning it and stuff but that's 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 in there good and proper now um and so it's one of those things that it's not a fault of the of the cap it's just the material that gets used it's my own fault for um not really thinking about it but i mean even even on the underside of the drip tip there you can kind of see how that kind of has gone a little bit nasty and a little bit gammy um and that's just from from using a high citrus e-liquid, you know? Yeah. I mean, Louis saying there that, I mean, if you do a Google search for tank crackers, it's actually one of the first ones that comes up is the ECF have a list. I think Vaping 101, that there's loads of sites that have lists of tank cracking juices. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think that's just something we need to throw out there a little bit more. Now we've got more of this because it doesn't happen with Ultim and it doesn't happen with glass, correct? Correct. Yeah. So, um, so when it comes to the acrylic and what's the PMMA? PMME. That's the one. Yeah. Not the drug. Yeah. Is there a drug? Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's the uh, it's it's that material that can get that can get a little bit kind of it can get a little bit funky. Uh, because Steve is saying in there, is there a particular plastic that is resistant to this cracking PC one thousand etc. I don't know. I'm not I'm not clever enough to really kind of um or i haven't got the time to really kind of get really stuck in to find out which materials are better than others for for dealing with it to be honest with you um yeah, pc 1000 is usually more hardcore it's harder wearing um i've i've what tank i'm actually i'm actually using a tank with lemon crack in it and christ i can't remember which one it is now it's gone the dog's stolen my vape gear again <laughs> um uh, oh yeah, the the cloud one. I'm using. Uh, I think that's PC one thousand. Could be wrong, uh, and and it's been fine. Um, yeah. But there's there yeah there's <laughs> some companies use cheaper material than others. To be fair, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. But he, I mean, he's just one of those things. That I'm sure anyone that's started vaping maybe over the last year, maybe even two, just. Yeah is not aware of because pretty much all the tanks that we've had come out from like your geek vapes and vandy vapes and all this sort of stuff i think you know it'd be fair to say that most of them have come with glasses not you know but glass tanks yeah so it's not really been a, a, a concern that we've had but no it is something just to throw out there and be aware of if you're using a sort of a high citrus or something that has got those kind of compounds in there that will Kind of just play with the uh, the inside of some acrylic kind of materials, if that makes sense. There we go. See, because uh, Steve said, yeah, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the Skyfalls PC one thousand, if whatever it is, it will be top grade materials because Facilis wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I still want one. Still want one. I haven't got one. I'll send you one. If no, I won't actually. <laughs> to what? <laughs> um and also just because a material is yellow doesn't mean it's ultim either by the way absolutely so there we go that's something that you guys should be aware of as well it can just be a yellow acrylic or, or something along those lines so um no there we go public service announcement over and then you know normally normally we don't go to this level of actually giving useful information but today you've been lucky <laughs> I'm quite proud. I feel like I've learned something. <laughs> Have you tried the Pindad RDA and Squonk RDTA holes? I've reviewed the Pindad RDTA um, Mecha Raptor. That was something I reviewed probably a couple of years ago now. A year and a half, two years, something like that. A long time ago. Don't think it was last year. Uh, fair. It's on the channel. Go and check that one out. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Um, Right. Is there anything else going on in chat that you've noticed that we need to pay attention to? Uh, well, there you go. Jez has just said, looking at the Hellfire Cobra, it's a lot of cash. Is it worth the money, worth the extra money? 
Sure. Depends on your budget. If you can afford it, I'd buy one. I've got one. I bought one. <laughs> Is that that one that you, you sent away just to get a checkup on? Yeah. I, I just I sent it. Uh, I, I bought it secondhand and um, it arrived and I wasn't 100% happy with it. So I sent it off to Hellfire and I'm pretty damn sure they sent me a brand new one straight back. It was with me the next day and it's gorgeous it's a stunning me thing he's got all his own cnc machines he does it's all his own stuff uh, none of it's outsourced or anything like that yes it's expensive yes it's a bollock to get a hold of but yeah it'll hold it's that these mods hold their value quite well they're not an investment i wouldn't call them an investment but um they hold their value well and uh, the customer service is up there with the best of them absolutely absolutely and it's good it's good there are there are companies and and you know it's one of the reasons i went with dovpo because their customer service is very very good um but it's good when when, a, when especially like a homegrown company or something will uh, will offer that level of, of strong customer service <laughs> i would just like to point out to uh yus 808 who says i'm loaded i live in a fucking shed mate <laughs> <laughs> and have you seen his clothes and have you seen my clothes? I mean, I am a walk. I'm an. I am the George catalog for. I, I mean, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, Alex McKenzie's asking about the Pulse X BF RDA. I'm really on the fence about that one. I'm really on the fence about it because of the uh, the post structure of the of the pictures that I've seen. Now, Vandy Vape don't send me stuff anymore, so it's unlikely I'll have one to review. I certainly haven't got the uh, the Pulse mod, the 80 watt mod. So. I doubt that's going to be a thing for me. But have you seen pictures of it? No, I've, it's not. It's got a weird thing going on where it, it, it's kind of like a, it's this kind of shape going on and you've got multiple, and it doesn't look like it would take very wide coils. And it also, the way the screws go in, looks like it would fold your well, legs, your coils like outwards. So it'll kind of concertina your coil a little bit. But uh, I haven't got any sort of a proper opinion on it until... Uh, until I see one in the flesh, but I'm um, yeah, I'm um, I don't know, I don't know. Could do me a favour, just can you go and do all that again? Because <laughs> <I, laughs> it just that makes sense. Look, a little piggy. It, one of the things that has got is at the top of the bit that goes like that. The top of it has got a little juicy little little thing, little spout for your juice to come out. Over. In, in your head, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. It does. It in does. your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's no i mean i can think of three or four rdas that now kind of allow juice to come out from the from the top and the first time i saw it was at vape fest last year what was the name of that company begin with h oh, uh, you had the rda and you couldn't take the top cap off oh that could have been any yeah <laughs> <laughs> but that had a that had a top squonk system so the juice kind of went up through the middle and then peeled spilled out over the top and oh. that was really really good i think you sent it to mr schwar i think if memory serves correct um, oh the 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 actual the strange rd rdas like that um that italian one yeah the, the positive post actually has a hole going up through it and juice comes out the top as well as the bottom so it's yeah. Um, There's a few now, and I, I, I like that. that. That's kind of that's a cool thing. Um, right, what else we got going on? Uh, is the free mesh free max mesh pro tank any good? Tom, I I haven't got a clue to give you, my friend. I haven't got one. Um, every 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 week, I tell multiple people I don't do juice reviews and I don't do tank reviews now. People then will occasionally say, "But I saw you do a tank review of such and such," and generally. Generally, well, I never accept a, a, a tank to get reviewed, um, but people will on occasionally send me stuff unsolicited, and uh, and I do try everything that comes in, and if I like it, then I talk to people about it, but if I don't, I don't, and uh, most of the time I don't, but I never accept tanks to review, so um, that's why I don't get things like Freemax and all that sort of malarkey because it just doesn't happen. I think a lot of people like them though, from what I from what I'm aware of, so. No, there we go. Yes. I, I, people like um, Matt, suck my mod here. I've done a review on it. Grim, probably. Um, there'll be a there'll be a whole mess of really good quality reviews out there. So go and check those puppies out. 
Uh, Vapor Biker, is the V God Pro 2 kit mech mod any good? Not that's the bulbous um, one, and I haven't tried that one. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I know it's jolly expensive, I think. Um, but uh, no, I've not tried it. Um, I know it's Mark is very careful with his hand gestures now. I think people, is that people in your group taking the piss a lot? <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to get myself into difficult situations trying to explain things with my hands. So, uh, so I, I just don't anymore. I'm trying to keep my hands down below. <laughs> <laughs> Come off with the top cap. <laughs> I just thank thank God for editing. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, John's asking about Rex, uh, recommendations for tube mechs under 250. There's a whole mess of them. I've got a whole playlist for mechs on my channel, so you can go and check that out. Have you got a playlist for your mechanical devices? I can't remember. Yes, I have. Yes. In yeah. fact, mechs are coming back. They are. They're a good. I, I still like my mech. I do enjoy mech. I, I think one of the things that really kicked up a notch for me was the was the the the, the Samsung 30T battery. I love that in a mech. I think that's really really good. Nice and pokey. Not as much kind of sag as you'd get on an 18650. Although I do tend to use VTC 5As a lot when I do do that. And um and this one. I've not reviewed this one yet, and that's because I've been using it a lot, um, because. Well, I say a lot. I've been using it on and off. When I've been when I've been using it, I've been using it a lot. But when I've not been using it, I've, anyway. Um, to give you an idea, this was sent to me from um, Evolution Vaping, and that's the size comparison against an eighteen six fifty battery. So there's there's not really much into it at all. I don't think it's much of a looker, to be honest with you. And one of the the way this one fires, there's no button underneath. But the way this one fires is you press these puppies in. You've got one either side. And basically, the outer tube then makes contact with the uh, the inner tube on the inside there. Um, but it takes a hell of a lot of pressure. That, that you know, you really need to put some beef into that one to squeeze those puppies. Um, can't remember how much this is. I don't think it's the cheapest, but it's certainly not the most expensive one out there. Um, but for a dinky little mod that's a little bit different, that's certainly worth a look. Um, I have got the new Purge mech coming to me. So that will be with me shortly. Um, so uh, I'm going to be testing the crap out of that. And I'm really looking forward to that because I do like I do like the Purge stuff. Um, and before before you go on, did did you know? Did you know? Because there's a couple of folk have actually a couple of folk have mentioned it. And I don't, I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. Uh, but in certain circles, um, 18th, uh, a lot of people are rather than buying pods, pod devices, are the 18350s. They're buying 18350s instead, make mods. Right. Uh, which are because Hellfire had their one that they released at Vape Fest. Uh, you've got the Sat Burn. There's and a lot of people are buying the old 18350 makes and putting little two mil tanks on top and using them instead of uh, pod systems. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. It's just a weird though. What's the um? What's the that that? Because you you got a sort of a new eighteen three fifty not so long ago. Um, what was the mar on that one? Was it eight fifty or something? Uh, the the vape cells are eleven or twelve hundred. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay, so you've got more beef in one of those than you have, say, in something like the uh, the EQ from Minikin. Yeah, well, I mean that's the 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 one that I can't get the top cap off, mm. and there's the. An eighteen three fifty. Mm. So, granted, that's five hundred pounds. But anyway, that's moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, oh, have you got one of the Atty Dog thingies? Did I see that you've got one of the one or two of these? By the way. Yes. They're great, aren't they? Well, you see, I I only took one because I'm not a greedy bastard. <laughs> I did tell him to only send me one. He sent me four. Yeah, he did say you were a very nice man. I try. I have I have my moments. <laughs> um, because um, Steve's saying um, b -b 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 is the Nemesis Make Mod still available? I'm pretty sure you can still get them from uh, Atma Mechani in Greece. Can you really? Um, I'm pretty sure that you can still get them. Um, um, which, um, 
Jared, yeah, people, uh, Jeb, yeah, why use a Mac? Uh, because it's pretty. <laughs> a lot of people like the form factor out of a Mac. A lot of people like it's. It's kind of like why do people like? I used to like driving my Capri. When I had my Capri, I loved driving it because it was it was visceral. It was kind of basic. There was no power steering. It was no kind of no no you know airs and graces that you get in a modern car. And that kind of that kind of experience made me happy. And in a similar way to, to that is one of the reasons why I like mechs. You have to build properly. If you don't build properly, then then you, you're going to have a shit experience. If you don't if you don't put the right RDA on the mech for how you vape, then you're not going to have the best experience. If you don't put the right stuff involved, the right battery and all that sort of stuff, you're not going to have the best experience. So um, that and also just that raw power coming from the battery, just I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of them. And I really like the form factor. And they're pretty. And they're pretty. And they're pretty. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry, but that's that's about all I have to add to the, the conversation. <laughs> I think if someone I mean there's if you've got regulated vapes and you're happy with them, there's no you don't have to change. There's no benefit as such to going down a mechanical device route. But like I say, if you if you enjoy building and you enjoy kind of taxing yourself and you enjoy kind of going, oh no, that kind of 0.18 isn't as good as the 0.19 that I made with a different material or whatever else. Then it's all so so much more intense. You have to you have to do it. Um, you have to spend time with a mech. And once you've been using it for a while, then you would often a lot of mech users will have the build that they go to time after time after time because they know that works well for how they vape. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Kevin's asking, what was that little tube mod? That was uh, from Caravella Mods. Uh, that's what that was. Um, uh, Nemesis was the must-have mech back in the day. The Nemesis was the, that that was, if any, yeah, that was kind of a game changer back in the day. Uh, it really was. Um, here, here's, here's the thing. Have you no? Are you doing this with uh, the recurve? Never. Have you not done that yet? Nope. I can't help doing that. Nope. Because I always hold it like that because the thumb thing. Yeah, but it it just it's like the limelight. I always it feels like the limelight when I hold it, so I always end up doing. Yeah, I think for me, with I've, I've I'm so used to having side firing or front firing, or thumb firing stuff that. I've had a few mods that have got kind of a top firer. And um, when it comes to like larger ones, I just think it's really uncomfortable. If you've got a small mod, like there was a little one from, from Digi Flavor I reviewed ages ago, AP60 or something, maybe. I can't remember. Um, but um, it had a little, little sort of detonator switch on the top, and it was brilliant. Um, but uh, but no, with, with, with a larger mod, that's just, I think that's probably the arthritic thumbs and things coming into play there. But yeah. Uh, I bet. I mean, how great is this button? It's just so big and lovely. It just is easy to fire, isn't it? it it's spot on. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's done very, very well. Yeah. Done very well. Um, like when I recorded the review that I'm editing at the minute, I was really tempted to say, it's a shame it doesn't take 30 mil out of mine to say. But I refrain from doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, the 510 would have been so much better in the center. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Mike Babe said he wanted the recurve to be like the limelight freehand. Yeah, he, he was sort of inspired by that and uh, and one or two others, I think. Um, if you want some more small bill stands, I will send you some. Sorry for the health reasons. I couldn't make Vape Fest. Um, uh, uh, Sean Toop. Sean Toop. That's not Mr. Atty Doc, is it? Uh, Mr. Atty Doc's Michael, isn't it? That's what I thought. I'm confused. But, um, no, don't, you don't have to send us stuff. You don't have to send us stuff. We always like stuff, but you don't have to send us stuff. Yeah. Um, I wish the hybrid rig didn't have that bottom texture. I wish it was flat. The hybrid rig. Okay. Uh, VB, I just got a smokestack mod from US Hammond box style, cheap eight pound chip, um, to go with my Berserker Pam mod. Well, good for you, good for you, Horsham. Good for you. Oh, Sean, no, just clicked. Sean's another, he's he's not Atty Doc. 
Sean's not at the doc. Ah. Um, he's 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 another fella. <laughs> he's another <laughs> fella. <laughs> he does the the, the mushroom. Is it the mushroom ones? He does the mushroom. He's got. Uh, I've seen him posting them in my group. He's got the really nice looking ones. Um, yes. I think ah, I think I might have spoken to him. I think I might have spoken to him. I'm sorry if I've forgotten that conversation, Sean. I've got a terrible memory. Dean, um, Dean, what, Dean. What? What? what somebody what? just asked me a question about. But, but uh, uh, will a 26 gauge tricore fuse collapse and fit in the Haku Vena? That is absolutely for you. That have what? Huh? Um, <laughs> could do. But it will get fucking hot. Yeah. Um, pass. Watch the review. <laughs> Swiftly moving on. Sean saying, yes, it's the mushroom style ones. Yes, they are nice. I'm pretty sure I can remember them. They are nice looking more. They're holders and stuff. Uh, right. Oh, and the Cosmos painted iridescent ones. Boosh. Yes. There we go. There it's we go. All, it's all coming back now. It is all coming back. Um, what build is, do what build do you think is best for Dreamer Mech Mod 0.3? Or it depends what you've got, Billard Michael. Depends what you're putting on top, and it depends how you vape. Uh, I think I talk about my build when I did my review on that one, so uh, that'll probably tell you more about what I what I like in it. But generally, I did a video about my favourite Clapton build that I put in most things, to be honest with you, and especially with a Samsung 30T battery. Um, my Claptons that come through to about 0.14 um, work brilliantly because they're stainless steel dual core 26 gauge and uh, and work rather nicely. Um, right. Good. Now then, if there isn't any or you've got another couple of seconds before um, before we bugger off unless there's any more questions in chat. So if you've got a question, get them in there. But I've got editing to do and uh, Mr. Todd has television to watch. And, uh, and I need a cup of tea as well. Hey, what are you watching at the minute? Anything good? Uh, what am I watching? Uh, I'm watching um, for all you old farts out like there, out there like me. Uh, three three Days of the Condor. Um, old Robert Redford film. Well, there's a TV series that's loosely based on it called Condor, funnily enough. Hmm. So I've been watching that. That's what I've been watching. Um other than that, I've, I've just been doing what I'm told to do by the missus. Fair enough, fair enough. I told you earlier on that I've been re I've been really excited listening to the WTF podcast with Mark Maron recently. And because of that, I've started watching his Netflix show just called Maron. And it's got like three seasons and I have gone hardcore with all the heat that's been going on when I've not been able to work. I've been binging on that and really, really enjoying it. I think he's great. <laughs> Dean, what? The starting on my hair. Well, to be honest, Doc, something about Mary's had a go on that one. I think. I'm just looking. <sighs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I was meant to. I'm, I'm going semi trampy with the hair at the minute because I was meant to get a haircut the other day, but I'm now going on Monday instead now. Well, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding out because we're going holiday in a couple of weeks, so um, I've got to time it just right. Um, I thought you were growing a beard. No, no, no. Well, I, I kind of, yeah, I, I had three days there where I didn't really record anything and I was kind of slumming it around the house. And uh, it was, it was, yeah, it was starting. And, and then Karen, I, I kind of like woke up with Karen kind of hanging over me with a razor. Um, so, so that was the end of that. You should share share that picture that you've got when someone put the the beard on you, and we'll get votes in chat about whether you should grow a beard because I think you should. Not just because of clouds broke clouds, but it would look badass. Uh, hang on, I'll try and find it. Um... <laughs> You're going to post a video, then Dean asks Andrew. Yes, once I finish the editing, let's say it should go up either late, super late tonight, or or uh, first thing in the morning, depending on how long YouTube takes to process it. You found it yet? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, obviously, I don't work quite as quickly as you do, okay? <laughs> so the missus says. <laughs> um, oh, it's not there. Out, out, out. Um, um, 
pass. Uh, can't. So anyway, if you get anything exciting that you're looking forward to reviewing, no. Um, they, uh, we, we, I think we glanced on this last time. I, I'm, I'm getting more jaded by Vape Gear at the minute. I've kind of, I've had little moments of, of kind of ranting that, that there seems to be a, a the, the vape machine, the, 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 the thing. That, that, that generates all of these products tends to generate a lot of the same sort of stuff now. And it's, 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 I feel wrong saying it bores me because it sounds like I'm being a real prick about that. But um, there's so much stuff that's just the same or people doing something different just for different sake. Um, I mean, for instance, a, a prime example of that is this RDA, which I did, which I've also got to, um, I think I've got to, I, actually, no, I don't think I agreed to it. So I don't know if I've got to review it, but there's this thing here. Um, and it's got this post situation going on here with this kind of, you know, and you've got, you have your, your coil super low and, and, uh, vaping V1 CK Richard, he did a uh, review of this recently and he likes it. I don't, I don't get it myself. I don't understand it at all, but um, not really a fan of that. Don't really think that it's it's kind of given any benefit to vaping by um, by kind of going through that weird post system. But um, yeah, so no, I don't actually. No, I tell a lie. The purge mech. I'm looking forward to doing that one because that'll be a good that'll be a good mech. Um, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I'm super excited about getting in. What about you? So I ain't coming in for you. Uh, just, just why doesn't this work? <laughs> why, why doesn't this? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just, I just, oh, I'm going to email it. I'm going to Facebook it to you. Oh God, that means I don't do technology. <laughs> I've got a side in the Facebook now. Right, where is it? Come on. You're just, you're so much faster at these things than me, and 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 I'm just old and insecure and. <laughs> and, and, and there it goes it's on its way right. right hang you on and boof and screen share application window some of that voila bosh some of those apples see i would that. rock that that would look awesome who's the fine fella next to you by the way that's uh, Peter from uh, PC Cut. It's written on his fucking T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so there we go. Votes on chat. In in chat. Should Todd have a beard? Beard, beardy, beardy, or no beardy? <laughs> yeah. And the first person to mention my moobs gets kicked out of chat. <laughs> uh. Uh -uh. Uh, yeah, I, I I must admit I do get you about the. Uh, I want something exciting to happen in vaping again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I just yeah. Look at all the beard comments. Look, look at them. Everybody wants you to grow a beard. Yeah, but you know what that would mean though. Yeah. I would end up getting more subs than you. No, I don't think you would. I would me listen. It, it's not about the camera work. It's not about the sound, the lighting. It's just the fucking beard. <laughs> yeah, but it's also got my 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 boyish charm and and striking good looks as well. Don't forget. Like you say, it's just about the beard. <laughs> 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 but there you go. Look, I don't think anybody in chat has said no beard. So you know you're in. You're in. You've got, you've got to do it. Get it grown. And uh, tattoos. He's got. He's got, has got a couple of tattoos. Old my yeah. tattoos. I've got my my vaping biker on my my butt, <laughs> and I got my phoenix on my arm. But that's about it. Um, when he comes down here and uh, and we get to hang out, then I will I will uh, tattoo him when he's here as well. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the tattoo gun. That's why I've got my little dodgy tattoos on my leg. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right so on that one i think we're we're all good to go i think without a doubt we've learned a few things we've learned about uh tank cracker juices can can upset rdas we've learned that you should absolutely 100p have a have a beard we've learned that 100p is actually 
what the kids say these days so that's cool um that you've got a tramp stamp you forgot about mentioning that one the little barbed wire and rose you've got on the lower back um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no i think that's about it i think that covers i think we've we've, we've 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 covered a whole mess of stuff on this one and it's been an hour and a half which i think is more than enough for anyone to have to go through so if you've uh if you've watched this and <laughs> you've enjoyed it then uh please leave a comment down below make sure that you do like and subscribe don't forget if you do want to get the funky um safe zone t-shirt go across to vapingbiker.co.uk forward slash merchandise i think if you go to vapingbiker.co.uk there's a little clicky thing for merchandise and you can go and check that bad boy out right there so you can get that one in you and there is ladies fit ones as well so if you're a lady or if you uh if you're a bloke that likes i don't know that likes that kind of fit billy boots we won't judge you um good one right that's that's uh, that's good. And please make sure that you uh, like and subscribe, like it, share it, do stuff. If not, then go and check out the battery wrapping one and share that. That'd be great. Now, anything you want to say to finish up with? Yeah, I'd just like to say that there are other battery wrapping videos available. <laughs> 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 yes, but R1 supports the, the lovely Rick at Modmaker. Well, he doesn't support him, but I'm showing off his cool skull. Oh, you're showing off his wraps, are you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's well. I think I did mine back in 1884, so it's not really relevant anymore. <laughs> right, good one. Thank you very much. And uh, if you do want to support the channel, there is a PayPal link down below if you want to do a one off thing or if you want to see unboxings or have all oh, my patrons have raised, I think we've raised about 500 quid for um, for, for charity in the last month, which I'm quite, quite happy about. Woohoo! Uh, so there is that. There's auctions and stuff that have been going on over there recently. Um, but uh, unboxings and things and stuff and shit and hangouts and stuff. So uh, if you want to get involved with that, please go ahead and get involved. But on that one, I think we're good to go. So are you going to do the cloud? Yeah, like last I'm, I'm, time? At, uh, I'm, I'm at Powerful Plus I'm at 49.9 watts. You animal. And I'm fully German. You should really be like... 66.6 at this stage uh, no see if i had the beard maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> right we're not going to fuck around again we're going to sort it out this week so i'm going to pop the camera on you mr todd you are presenting thank you everyone for watching it's been a pleasure and we will see you next monday night live but for tonight from the todd meister and me thank what are you doing thank you very much for everybody see you no, look, you, you, you start sucking too quickly. That's what the problem is. I'm never speaking to you again after this show. <laughs> right, okay. now this time we're doing it for proper. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, have it larger.